How Little Crocodile Found His Family In the lost tropical jungle there lived a little crocodile named Alex. Alex was still small but brave because he knew that in time he would grow into a big formidable crocodile. And Alex always had a big family ready to help and support him. His mom, dad and a whole bunch of brothers and sisters. Alex had big green eyes and sharp teeth that always shone when he smiled. On his back were dark green scales that glittered in the sun. One day the little crocodile was swimming in his native pond among the fish when suddenly a swift shadow flew over him and Alex plunged into darkness. Everything around shook and splashed. The fish he had been swimming with were floundering around him. What's happening? exclaimed the worried Alex. Don't you understand? said one fish. A pelican caught us and now we are rolling his huge beak. We're doomed. We'll see about that, retorted the little crocodile Alex. The pelican messed with the wrong one. Alex swam to the side and knocked. Hey sir, may I have a minute? His mom and dad always taught Alex that although he belonged to a big family of dangerous crocodiles and would someday become a huge scary predator himself, he should always treat others with politeness and respect, because great power comes with great responsibility. The pelican, apparently hearing the voice in his beak, stopped flying, sat on a tree branch and opened his mouth. I'm listening, he said. I think there's been a misunderstanding, said the little crocodile Alex. I'm a Nile crocodile and probably ended up in your beak by mistake. Well, in the moss hunt there can be errors, surely you understand, Mr. Nile crocodile, the pelican noted. But I think my parents would prefer you to be more careful with your hunting targets and reduce the error rate to a minimum. Yes, I suppose I must respect the opinions of individuals like your parents, agreed the pelican. Could you then transport me and my friends back to where you so unceremoniously picked us up? I'm afraid we face a dilemma, dear young Nile crocodile. I don't have the strength to take you all back. I'm too hungry and tired. I can eat all the fish, strengthen myself with them and take back only you. Or I can leave you all right here in that pond below and go on my way. These are substantial arguments. Thank you for your honesty, Mr. Pelican. I prefer the second option, where no one gets hurt. Please land us in that pond. And the pelican splashed the contents of his beak along with water, fish and the little crocodile Alex into a small pond. The fish found it quite cozy there. However, Alex wanted to return to his family. He said goodbye to his friends, they thanked him for the rescue, and Alex set off back. The problem was that the little crocodile was very small, his legs were short, he walked very slowly and the pelican had taken them very far. The little crocodile trudged gloomily along the path when he suddenly heard a noise and froze in place. Who's there? He wanted to growl like his dad, but it came out as a pitiful squeak. An elephant stepped out from the bushes. She was huge and mighty with grey skin and a long trunk. The elephant had small eyes, but they were very wise. The elephant was kind and caring, always ready to help those in need. Hello, Mr. Crocodile, she said. There are no rivers or lakes nearby. You look like you're lost. Absolutely right, nodded Alex. By fate's will, I ended up here and now I'm looking for my family. Have you, Miss Elephant, seen any crocodiles around? Mrs. Elephant, she corrected Alex. I haven't seen any crocodiles here, but I know they live in the river behind the mountains. Could you tell me exactly where these mountains are? Hmm, the elephant pondered. The jungle is too dense and high. I can't see through it. Let's ask giraffes. Their necks are longer and they can see further. 
and the elephant brought Alex to the giraffes gazing by a waterfall. The giraffes were tall and graceful, with long necks and round ears. They were covered in light fur with large brown spots. They were friendly and curious, always happy to meet new friends. Hello, Mr. Crocodile, said one giraffe. Are you here by accident? No, I'm looking for my family. Mrs. Elephant says they live behind the mountains. Could you, dear giraffes, tell me which way the mountains are? The giraffe stretched his long neck and looked around. The mountains are in that direction, but they are quite far and very high. I can't imagine how you, Mr. Young Agile Crocodile, will manage to get there and cross them. It might make sense to ask Mr. Eagle for help, suggested the elephant. And the three of them, little crocodile Alex, the elephant and the giraffe, went to see the eagle. The eagle was majestic and powerful. He had sharp yellow eyes and a strong beak. His wings were wide and strong, and he could fly long distances. He was covered in brown and white feathers, with black tips on his wings. The eagle was smart and brave, always ready to help other animals. Hello, Mr. Crocodile, said the eagle. I see you've lost your way in our lands. That's right, confirmed the elephant. And as far as I know, crocodiles live behind the mountains, but the young brave crocodile won't manage to get there alone. I would be very grateful, Mr. Eagle, if you could take me there, Alex politely asked. Well, our eagle family has always had good relations with the crocodile family. I remember you, Alex, from your baby shower, though you probably don't remember me because you were too small. Well, I can't refuse your request. Climb onto my back. Alex thanked the eagle and his companions. He climbed onto the eagle's back and clung to his feathers with his tiny claws. The eagle flapped his wings and soared into the sky, and Alex closed his eyes, afraid of falling. But when he opened them again, he saw the elephant and giraffe below waving goodbye to the travelers. Alex wanted to wave back, but was afraid to let go of the feathers. They flew first over the jungle, then over the mountains, then over the river valley, and the little crocodile enjoyed feeling the wind against his skin. He was very happy to see all these beautiful places from above, which he would never have seen if he hadn't ridden on the eagle's back. Finally, they reached the other side of the mountain, and the eagle sat Alex down on the ground. Around him were the tearfully familiar places, the river, his home, and on the shore his brothers and sisters were splashing around. Alex had made it. He was home. Alex was happy to be reunited with his big and friendly family. He realized that even if you are small, you can still achieve your goals if you aren't shy and treat those who might help you with politeness and respect. And the crocodile family welcomed the eagle as an old friend. They fed him to his heart's content, and the eagle stayed with the crocodiles for a few more days as a guest.